Well, a 71 Cuda 446 pack, factory four speed, factory Dana, factory black car with 26,000 original miles definitely warrants being a dream car. Well, Frank's had this same dream for the last 30 years. He actually bought this car in high school. He had the car for 30 years. It went through being a stock car, being a modified car. Eventually, he thought he would even race it and put a cage in it. He hot rodded the motor. He did all the usual things that kids did in the 70s with their cars. Well, now it's come full circle. Frank's about 50 years old. He reminisces of his high school days, and he wanted the car properly restored, exactly the way the car was when it was brand new in the showroom. He brought it to us, but he didn't bring it to us with the intention of this is going to be his baby forever, even though that's what he thought when he first bought the car. He brought it because he wanted to restore it in order to sell it to make sure it went to a proper home, somebody who would appreciate the quality of this car and what this car really means to Frank. The decision on what level to take the restoration to was one that really was difficult. I mean, basically there's three ways you can go. Sell it as is, take it to a, a driver level and put not too much into it, and then do the full boat, which is what I've decided to do. I, I know a lot of people in the industry through my work at SEMA and through my work for magazines, so I, I asked the people that do this on a regular basis, and all of them came back and said the same basic thing. Since this is a truly rare car, it is a real V-code car, and it's low mileage, and I'm the second owner, and I can prove it since December 7th, 1975, that this car would potentially bring a really high number. And everybody said that if you do option one or option two, you'll basically bang your head up against the wall when you see it go across a year or two later for a number that takes your breath away. And I decided, well, you know, I, I wanted to see the car really done right. I just, you know, it's, you only have one first car, and I wanted to see this car done right. And uh, I, I bit the bullet and figured out ways to come up with uh, what I needed to come up with to do it. Man, it's definitely bringing back some memories of when I used to take it to school and turned off the radio and just listened to the engine. These cars are, are very, very sensual. You, you, again, you, you can't ignore something like this. The contrast of a car like this in a setting like this that's so serene, and then you've got this, this thunderclap of a car just kind of, you know, bursts its way through. Again, this thing definitely, definitely lets you know it's there. <laughs>